are giving an extra. You are giving an extra mile. Okay. Before to, to start the class, I have a question. Do you know someone or do you know a famous person in El Salvador? Yes. Do you got an idea when someone is asking, hey, do you know a famous person? A Salvadorian famous person? No one? Mm -hmm. No one? Really? My goodness. Uh huh. Yes, no, my really, you don't know someone who's famous in El Salvador? Mágico González. Okay, what is he, what, what is he famous for? Um, because it's a, uh, I don't remember, footballista in English. Okay, the, soccer player. Soccer player, thank you. Because uh -huh. he was a soccer player, famous in El Salvador, and he was famous because in um in um in a play, I don't remember how what country, uh, he was not young. I don't remember how to say in English. Uh, uh, goal is the same. <laughs> because, okay, because goal with a technique. Uh, in his technique was so famous in yes. in the world. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, excellent. And yes, around, right? Around the world. Mm -hmm. So, Mexico mm -hmm. Gonzalez. So, thank you so much, Fabiola. There is another one, guys. A famous Salvadorian person. No one? Kim Flip, teacher. Kim Flip, yes, of course. Yes. What is he famous for? He is famous for seeing reggaeton. Exactly. So, but teacher, yes, but he's famous for, yes, it is. So the third one, please, and the, the third one and the last one. Do you know who's famous or who was? Maybe he or she passed away. Uh-huh. No one? No one? What about Claudia Lars? Do you know who was Claudia Lars? Uh-huh. Any idea? Yes. Thank you. Jessica, Diego, Fabi, Yes, yes uh-huh. Give us. Thank you, Jessica. Who was? She is a, 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 a she writer. Is she is or a she was? Uh -huh. She was, sorry. She was a, a writer. Yes. I think that is the, the good way to stay. Yes, of course. A poet is right. Okay. Yes. But what, teacher, what are you asking for? Because today we are going to read about no Salvadorian. No, no, no way. But today we are going to start with the fifth reading. Acuérdense que son ocho lecturas las que vamos a ver. Esa es nuestra quinta. Nos quedan tres. So, Amelia Herhart. Do you know who is she? Someone. Do you know who is Amelia Hart or Herhart in this case? Any idea? Five, four, three. She was a pilot. Exactly. She was a pilot. So, before to start with the test, I got some words. This is, I'm not looking for synonym. For today, the, uh, your activity or your practice is not to look for a synonym. No way. You are look for definition. So, look at the first one. She said, the word set is in simple past. Okay? So, this is an irregular verb. So, the set is in simple past. So she set many flight records. The second, her solo flight. Amelia vanished somewhere. Juggling alcohol and a massage of potato are some of the expression that you are going to listen today because I got a video related with the topic. So I don't know if you want to take a picture. I don't know if you need extra time to write it down. Please let me know, okay? I will give you 30 seconds. 30 segundos, tomele captura, anote las oraciones, so 30 seconds. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. For this, your first dynamic is try to identify what is the definition. 
there is a big difference between definitions and meanings and synonyms. So I'm asking for definition. What is she said many flights records about? What does it mean in the definition of her solo flight? What does it mean or what's the definition about Amelia banished somewhere, juggling alcohol and what does it mean or what's the definition of I'm a sack of potato? Before to start, I got obviously the test. I'm gonna ask you, Alessandra, would you like to start please? When I said stop, Alessandra, I'm gonna choose a second student. Thank you, Ale, and by the way, welcome to your class. Go ahead, please, just mm -hmm. breathe. Okay. Amelia Earhart is probably the best known female pilot in the world. During her life, she did amazing things. Earhart was one of the first women pilots in, his, in, in history. She set many flight records. One of the most famous was her solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean. She was the first woman to fly across the ocean alone. Eh, stop, thank you so much. Ligia, would you like to continue, please? Amelia yes. Earhart, thank you. Amelia Earhart was more than just a great pilot. She was a best selling author too. She wrote many books about her flying experience. Uh, here, Earhart also enjoyed helping in other women so, success. Succeed. To see, she helped start the old woman pilot group called the 1990s, and she fought for women's rights. Uh, stop, thank you. Would you like, please, Harris, would you like to conclude with the third paragraph? Sadly, thank you. Sadly, her heart's disappearance is a big reason why she is remembered today when she tried to fly around the world she went missing with her flying partner fred noonan on july 2 1937 amelia herward vanished somewhere over the pacific ocean never to be seen again never to be seen again okay thank you walter i'm gonna read paragraph number one in order to make sure how is your capacity to understand at the first time okay you ready yes perfect amelia herhart is probably the best known female pilot in the world during her life she did amazing things her heart was one of the first woman pilot in his history. History. She set many flight records. One of the most famous was her solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean. She was the first woman to fly across the ocean alone. What do you get, Walter? Thank you. Uh, you need to write. Uh, mm -hmm. She. You, you want and what do you understand about that? Or yes, I'm measuring what is your capacity to get the information. Yeah. Well, in the paragraph say that Amelia is one of the most important female pilots uh -huh. because she did uh, great things. And, and one of her great adventures was to cross the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. I got a question, Mr. Orellana. What do you understand about he was famous for her solo flight? That he was her best known adventure. Uh huh. And she did a lot of other things, but mm -hmm. he, she was remembered for that solo flight. So have you ever known about her before, or this is the first time? And no, this is the first time. Okay, thank you so much, Walter. Please choose a second student. Choose a second. Yeah, Joshua. 
Okay, thank you so much. Let's see, let's see. Hello, Mr. Israel. I'm so happy to having you again. Long, 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 long line to see you. <laughs> let's see. Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome. So, Israel, I'm going to read the second paragraph and please be ready to explain it, okay? What do you get? I mean, can entender the second paragraph? So, please pay attention to me. Amelia Earhart was more than just a great pilot. She was a best-selling author too. She wrote many books about her flying experience. Her heart also enjoy, enjoyed helping other women succeed. She helped start the all-women pilot group called the Nighty Nice. And she fought for women's right. What do you get it? Please, thank you, Israel. Hmm. For this paragraph, I got the uh, Amelia is isn't is not uh, is not just a a simple a pilot a pilot, pilot. and a pilot. Uh, so because uh, she she is a is a. She was she because some, she passed away. She was. She was. <sighs> okay, take take your time. Okay, think about it. Think about it. Okay, if you ask to me, teacher, the this is the maybe this is the fourth time that I read about Amelia Earhart. But the first time when I had the opportunity to know about her was when I got the opportunity to watch a movie. This is a famous movie. Solo que no recuerdo cómo se llamaba el nombre, pero era de una película que era en un museo, algo así se llamaba el museo, no sé qué, se llamaba una película para 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 niños y adolescentes. ¿Quién me ayudó? Museo. Una noche en el museo. Ay, Dos. okay. Oh, wait a minute, please. Wait a minute. I'm so sorry. I got a message. This is important. Did say okay? Thank you, Rachel. Thanks for letting me know. No worries. Okay. Yes. No worries. So, Israel, be ready. So, yes. Una noche en el museo. So, hey, who can, who has the opportunity to watch it? No one. Una noche en el museo. No one. Me. Alessandra, me what is about? Me. Jessica. Alessandra, first one, and Jessica the second. What was the the movie about? Well, it's about. I prefer the first one. Mm -hmm. I like both, honestly, <laughs> because this this the history about every character, and the second one I think about Amelia Earhart is how she also was. I mean, the only thing I fear about Amelia Earhart in the movies here. How to see feeling it. of advent of adventure. Mm -hmm. Yes, this and... is the first time. Yes, that's why caught my attention, Ali. Yes. Uh-huh. Jessica, please let me know. What about you? I watched the uh La Noche del Museo, but in the Korean version. Okay. And in the Korean version, it's like very eccentric, all the things that there appear, but in the Korean version also appear Amelia, Amelia Hart, a heart. And heart? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that one, I think the, the things that I most remember from the movie was like when the Indians appear, the Koreans like, well, the other people, ex uh, is very exaggerates like the way that uh, that we talk mm -hmm. like in the movie appear like they talk like unga unga taka taka uh -huh, or, yes i remember uh, something like that but uh i was i remember a little <laughs> bit about the movie but yes it was very funny okay so imagine try to compare yes for me this is the first time when i read when i watched it about amelia her heart but Tatiana, how can I compare Amelia Earhart with Kimfley? Fabiola, how can I compare Amelia Earhart with Michael Gonzalez? So there is a big difference, right? So I like to read about her because I consider she 
was one of the most famous pilots in America, but it is also in El Salvador. It represents that women's right. So Diego, in the in the lights, before to continue with Israel, she fought for women's right. What do you get about it, Diego? Women's right. Yeah, let me let, let me start with Diego and then you, Israel. Thank you. Like a correct woman? Exactly. What is your opinion, Diego? I know you're young. Yes, but you are very intelligent student. So what's your opinion about women's rights? Okay, for me, uh, the women can be as they can or they as can like. Uh, I don't explain but I think uh, she can do anyone he like. Okay. For example, okay. Jeffers or anyone he thinks or like. Okay, excellent. For example, many, 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 many years ago, we had the opportunity to vote. Many, many decades. So, but now it's totally different. Yes, Israel, please go ahead. Yes, uh, then. Uh, Amelia, uh, she is not only a pilot or an ordinary woman, mm -hmm. but she is a woman who, through her flying experience, mm -hmm. managed to inspire other women. Exactly. It's a person who inspires. It's a person who inspires others. Let's see, Fabiola, would you like to please turn on your audio? Tatiana, be ready. If I ask to you, Fabiola, who is your inspiration in life and why? Um, Amelia Irhar? No, I'm talking about you in general. Who is mm -hmm. your inspiration and why? Okay. Now at this moment, I don't remember what is my inspiration. But... ¿Quién, te, ¿Quién te inspira to be a better yeah. person? Yeah. Yeah, but I consider my mom mm -hmm. every day. Because for me, she is a wonder woman. For okay. because a uh, she is grandmother. She is my mother. And she is my best friend. Mm -hmm. uh, every day she she has the the a smile in her face. And it doesn't matter go, the problem. Hmm. Yeah, because my the and but that doesn't matter with problems in their our house and our family and her. Her is so beautiful and big hair. She has big hair okay. for me. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tatiana. And then Walter, who's your inspiration in life? Okay. In my case, teacher, I really look up to my mom as well mm -hmm. because my mom is so selfless and is an amazing wow. person. He always, uh, sorry, she always helps at other people and when I have my own family I would like to be the how she is in this moment her mother uh, yes mm -hmm. I I she is always there for me and and I would like to be always for my kids as well Okay, I'm gonna conclude with you, Walter, please. Oh no, I, I would like to listen to Alessandra, please. Alessandra, be ready with the same question. I'm gonna conclude with you. Yes, Walter, who's your inspiration in life? Well, I say my mom too, because she is a woman that always fights to for example, when I was young, he do he did a lot of things. For example, he sells because mm -hmm. she needs more money, so he said a lot of things. I remember, and she never give up. Mm -hmm. And now that she's older, she is still was fighting 
Okay, perfect. So, perfect, thank you, nice. I'm gonna conclude with you, Alessandra. Who's your inspiration in life? Okay, uh, well, my inspiration is my mom. She always be there to support me, also mm -hmm. my dad and my family. And I don't know if I'm gonna sound a little selfish or egocentric, but also myself. Mm -hmm. well, no, I have, perfect. I have through I have through some bad things mm -hmm. in all my life. So I always when I see the past, I always think how oh, strong and yes, sometimes like powerful I feel mm -hmm. and try to be better than that. Try okay. to be the best version of me. And yeah. oh, the best, the best version. Hey, totally agree with all of you guys. Well, if you ask to me, porque nunca nadie me dice, mira, teacher, usted qué opina? <laughs> but if you ask to me, teacher, who's your inspiration? Okay, obviously my mom. My mom, yes, but, but the most representative person in my life are my brothers. I have two, two little brothers. One is 26 and my little is 20. He's turning 20, 24 on October. So they are good boys. My goodness. And of course, before to have God in our life, they don't need extra help. Okay, even, even God, right? But they don't need extra. So they are my inspiration. So yes, they are older. They are older, of course, but they are a very good boys. I, my goodness, how, I cannot explain how incredible they are i mean they solve problems by themselves they teach me how to save money they teach me how to be in peace and strong all day it doesn't matter the problem or the trouble that you are passing for so my inspiration in my case yes is my mom but first of all i think i would like to say my brothers yes my my little brothers so guys in order to conclude with the class to eat almost conclude i'm going to show you again we are going to watch a video and the dynamic is very simple i'm not looking for synonyms. no way i'm not i'm not looking for synonyms so the second dynamic is i would like to measure how's your capacity to remember details okay to remember information according to what is she said many flights records her soul fly, Amelia banished. Hey, there is a brand in El Salvador. Hey, anda a comprarme un banish, dice la gente. En este caso, la, no se vaya a confundir en pensar que el banish es el que le ponemos a la ropa, el que su mamá, su tía, su hermana o usted le pone a la ropa. Aquí no tiene nada que ver el banish. Nada que ver. No voy a pensar que tiene que relación con alguna ropa. Nada que ver. So, Amelia banish somewhere, juggling alcohol. Me encanta. Esta es una expresión. Esa es una expresión, juggling alcohol. Juggling no es lo mismo que yo, no, no. Por aquí me están preguntando, teacher, juggling es lo mismo que jogging? No, no way. Primero que nada, el spelling bee. El jogging de trotar, en este caso es con O y con ING. Aquí es con U. Y la pronunciación de la otra es jogging, jogging. Y aquí es juggling, ok, with L. And what does it mean, or oh, what does it mean the expression? I'm a sack of potato. This is Amelia's heart. This is Amelia's heart's um, uh, expression. Okay, guys, please be ready with it in order to pay attention. So I got a bit related. I don't have enough time, yeah. so we are going to watch the videos. Yes, thank you, Diego, please. Hey, I have a question. What is please. the meaning of juggling alcohol? Yes, that's why that that's the dynamic. You are going to see it in the in the video. So you are going to listen juggling in order to get to you know what is the meaning. Okay, first, obviously, I'm going to help you, but first, traten de averiguarlo primero por ustedes solos. Y de, si alguien tiene algún problema, y teacher, mire, yo verdaderamente no pude captar la idea. No se preocupe, que obviamente yo le voy en este caso ya. Pero mi ejercicio ahorita es ese. Que usted identifique, que usted identifique estas palabras, estas oraciones, estas expresiones. Ok, another question, please. Five, four, three, two. Ok, guys, pay attention.
American aviatrix Amelia Earhart was born on July 24, 1897, in Atchison, Kansas. Amelia was a rambunctious child, though her mother wanted her to be a proper lady instead of a tomboy. I could see Amelia growing up and seeing her mother juggling an alcoholic husband, not very much money, and I think throughout her life, Amelia tried to avoid any kind of conventional female life. After a plane ride at an air show, she decided she would learn to fly. In 1928, she was invited to be the first female to fly across the Atlantic, but only as a passenger. With pilot Bill Stultz and mechanic Lewis E. Gordon, Earhart landed in the United Kingdom on June 17, 1928. Amelia was an instant sensation. I think she was somewhat embarrassed by the attention she got because as she knew she had done nothing on this flight she was just a passenger she kept the log uh, but she really referred to herself as a sack of potatoes after the flight promoter George P Putnam began managing Amelia's career it's very difficult to describe GP Putnam he was flamboyant uh, he was handsome, he could be charming. When he lost his temper, his language was incredibly evil. Putnam began heavily promoting Earhart's career with lecture tours and product endorsements. People criticized GP for pushing Amelia too hard. Uh, number one, I think she was a willing participant in this. And number two, she really had to do it. That was the way that you would raise the money for these flights. Though the relationship started out strictly professional, they would eventually marry in 1931. After several more successful flights, including a solo trip across the Atlantic, Earhart decided to fly around the world. Amelia and navigator Fred Noonan took off from Oakland, California on June 1, 1937 and made it 22,000 miles to Ley, New Guinea. On Earhart's last flight, having started out with ill health fatigue, on the way along the flight, she would fly an average uh, very often of 10 to 12 hours a day. So by the time she got delayed, she was, she was a wreck. The next leg to Howland Island was problematic. Overcast skies hindered celestial navigation, and it was discovered later they were using inaccurate maps. At 8.43 a.m. on July 3rd, U.S. Coast Guard vessel Itzica received the last communication from Earhart and launched an immediate search. However, the plane was never found. Yes, it is a shame because actually nobody knows who is she. Okay, guys. I'm going to start as a volunteer. The dynamic is very simple. You are going to give us your definition or what do you get, okay? But no worries because I got one, two, three, four, and five sentences. You are going to choose only two sentences to explain. It's your option, it's all up to you. So teacher, I would like to explain the first one and the second one. Teacher, I will like to explain, explain the fourth one and the fifth one. So, Alessandra, I'm going to start with you. Thank you, please. Choose and give us what okay. are your options, and then please explain it. Uh, the second one, her solo flight, uh, for me means uh, it was her first flight where she was alone, mm -hmm. or she was in control of the plane. 
-hmm. And the last one, I'm a sack of potato. E for me means like someone is not doing nothing, just like, I okay. don't know who to say carga. Okay, in charge? In charge, mm -hmm. it's just a uh, charge. It, it, it means when, when, for me it means when you are not doing nothing, Ex just in a charge. Okay, thank you so much, please stay there. So volunteer, please. Walter, thank you. What are your options? Uh, Amelia vanished somewhere and I am a sack of potato. Please go ahead. Amelia vanished somewhere is that he lost and he done people never know what happened to her, but that's it. It's when you you know someone mm -hmm. and then you never know from that person again. Okay. And I'm a sack of potato. It's it's when you you do in this case he didn't she didn't anything in that trip across the Atlantic and in the life is when you uh -huh. it's sometimes when you said said hey, I am I am bad and or I'm useless. Okay. Perfect. And, Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, Jessica, please. What are your options? Go ahead. And is uh, Amelia vanished somewhere and mm -hmm. she set many flight records. Okay. Uh, the first one she set many flight records. I think she, the all the records that she said it was like the 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 only way that the people can remember her because in that time uh, from all the stories that I'm that I heard in, in, my, in my life, in that time, the woman was not be able to do some things. Okay. And okay. from a woman that beat a record uh, to, from a man to a, to a man do it before her, uh, mm -hmm. it was like, oh my God, uh, like a woman, uh, this girl can beat uh, a record that a man can do. And I think that the record flight that she, that she beat was like, the most um, the most famous part of her that's that's the best way that the people can remember her and amelia vanishes somewhere is very sadly because maybe yes it is maybe if she was not disappeared like in that way she probably was be writing books or be like inspiration from another woman because mm -hmm. uh, she not only like like the way that you say it, teacher like she was not only the a pilot she fought for for a, um, a woman's rights in that time and i think that it's very subtly because she disappeared like a lot of people do it when they take flights or in boats in boat boats and it was like I don't know, it's like very strange and sadly at the same time mm -hmm. because she, she vanished like uh, like she never was here in the in the in the planet. But I think that probably if she was here, um uh, definitely was a very, very a very a very, very inspiration woman from mm -hmm. another woman. There is a there is a uh, there is another theory, but this is personal. I don't know if you already already see the word that I sent. Sepsims. What is sepsims? Five, four, three, two. Machismo. Machismo. Exactly. Okay. Mach sepsims. Machismo. This is my theory. I maybe, uh, as you know, many years ago, the sepsims was a very famous topic. I don't know if it's someone else act in the way that. Miss Amelia, her heart vanished. This is just my opinion, maybe. Okay. I think in that too, teacher, uh -huh. because in that time the woman who being very bright to be very smart disappeared. Mm -hmm. Like 
vanished from the earth like nobody exactly. existed. Exactly. And yes, I think that I think that too, like you. And how how can it be possible that is that someone like Amelia her heart disappear in 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 the in the rest of the world say no I don't know what happened with her. My goodness, it's Amelia her heart. Okay? A person who fought against violence. A person who fought and, and tried to help others. Okay? So how can no oh, she disappeared? Okay, she vanished. Okay, so somewhere but we don't know why and how. No my goodness, how can it be possible? So this is my theory, but this is my theory. Okay. I yes, Alessandra. I think the, I think uh -huh. the same because in that uh -huh. time it was very common that woman that women were like seen like a little thing like little things exactly and uh, if because, you see uh -huh. not just with amelia Earhart, for example um in my first semester in, of the uni of the college uh -huh. uh, i'm studying psychology and there were so many women they were part of the most famous theories about psychology and they were just disappear of the histories of mm -hmm. psychology it's not just amelia Earhart. i think in that time every woman that was smart and brilliant were how do you say borrado su nombre okay unforgetful names forget for they forget forgetful her, yeah. her names yeah and that's happening in didactic class i th i'm teaching didactic at the university and i don't know if you heard about uh, Maria Montessori. Do you know about Maria Montessori, guys? Five, four, three, two, one. Maria Montessori. Uh, yes, Paola, thank you. Uh -huh. Fue una filósofa, si no me equivoco. Exacto, exacto. And he was one of the most representative teacher a didactic and methodology. But what was her problem? Nobody, nobody believed. Nobody believe on her studies. Nobody believe on her th theories. So, but that that happened many years ago, guys. So this is my this is just my theory. I'm not saying that this is real. No, this is just my my theory. Okay. Yes, I like when we got discussions like that. So please volunteer. I I got five minutes left. Yeah. Volunteer five, four, three, two. Really? No, my goodness, who's missing? Diego, you're missing. Fabiola, you're missing. Israel, you're missing. Paola, you're missing. Rachel, I know you're sick. Jenny, you're missing too. Hey, Perito, where's Perito? She's missing two classes. Okay, so yes, please. No one? May I choose by myself? My goodness. Teacher, teacher, thank you. Yeah. Thank I didn't nice. uh, listen like uh, five. Yeah. I'm a it's... sack of potato? No, I didn't. I didn't listen anyone. I didn't listen really? anyone. Really? But I, I I understand uh, two dates. Like uh, okay. she, her mom mm -hmm. said like Amelia uh, was a tomboy. And I and I searched what is the meaning of tomboy is a girl like a few female. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And the second is uh, he she born in 20, 24 July in 1987. Okay, okay. Hey, Diego, I know you got a question. What is juggling, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Well, hey, guys, what is juggling? Five, four, three, two. Because the, the, the video mentioned and said her mother likes to juggling alcohol. Juggling, if you translate literally, is como malabares. But in this in this case, a person who likes to juggling with alcohol is a person who doesn't have problems to drink a lot. You got it or no, guys? I don't know if you are jugs if you like to juggling alcohol like me. I don't know if you like to drink alcohol a lot. Okay, so you got it? Yes or no? Walter said yes. <laughs> it's hey. like Andrea Seco. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Como, hey teacher, como, como para, para darle un sinónimo más, eh, una, una definición más salvadoreña, ¿verdad? Hey, que esta persona es como una like juggling alcohol, o sea, bebe y bebe y, o sea, tiene, por decirlo entre comillas, esa capacidad de beber alco al, al, alcohol, sin, entre comillas, sin tener ningún tipo de problema, como que no, yo me puedo echar 10 y no hay problema. Esa es una persona. Entonces, cuando decía, 
Her mother likes to juggling alcohol. It means like a, her mom doesn't problem to drink or didn't have problems to drink a lot of alcohol. Yes, please. Let's see. Thank you, Diego. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to choose by myself. Let me see. Let me see. Paola Soriano, are you ready? Could you please give us your two options? Yes, teacher. Uh, in my case, uh, she sees many flight records. Sign, she was one of the best pilots. I was able to achieve many records and that led her to be who she was and be an inspiration mm -hmm. to others. That I wish she become very admired by others. Okay, yeah. And thank you so much. So I'm gonna conclude the class with, let's see, Fabiola, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna conclude the class. Well, you are the previous last one and I'm gonna conclude with Harris. Okay, thank you, Fabi, please. Okay, um, I want to show the three Amelia Banishop somewhere. Um, I think the person I have my opinion is about, I think there was people have jealousy, jealousy, mm -hmm. jealous to mm -hmm. her jealousy to her because she was a famous she was a record to fly and fly and uh, up the ocean um because she was a woman fly for the law and different people and different records that she did it when i she was a live mm -hmm. in their country so their people is great for she was a banished somewhere in the up in, la, in el pico de su fama, and I don't remember in English, and the up from up the, the top, famous, from the, the top, top of the top, yes, up to the top of the top, and we call the career, uh, like a pilot. Okay, thank you, really nice. Okay, Harris, I'm gonna conclude the class with your amazing presentation. Thank you. Oops, thank you, Harris. Are you there? Let me know. Five, four. Three, two, let, okay, okay, no worries, okay, no worries, guys. Thanks to all of you. So, really nice presentation. So, for tomorrow, I'm gonna conclude this reading, this reading, because remember, for this model, we are going to try to read each reading, eight reading topic. So, we are gonna conclude tomorrow with the same test, but doing different kinds of activities, señores. Have a really good night. Thanks for always being on time and such a time responsible students too. So a pleasure. Have a really good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Thank you.